When people are granted licenses or easements to utilize land in a certain way, people sometimes take actions to develop or use their land in reliance on that agreement. The 1984 case of Mund v. English digs into the rights to use a well and the disagreements that flowed from it when the licensor attempted to go back on her promise. In 1977, Daryl and Verla Mund purchased adjoining one-acre properties with Daryl's mother, Ethel English. During the first year on the properties, a water well was drilled on English's property. English granted her son and daughter-in-law the right to use the well and install a pipeline from it to Daryl and Verla's property. There was no other water source for the Munns. Daryl Mund and his mother's late husband had installed the water system together. The Munns and English shared the installation costs for the well and water system, as well as operating expenses. During the first year owning the properties, the Munns secured a $40,000 loan and built a home on their property. Less than a year after the well was installed, the Munns and English began having issues involving the rights to the well and water. The Munns felt they had a permanent and irrevocable interest in the well, saying English had deeded a one-half interest in the well and a permanent easement to run the water system to them. English claimed it wasn't permanent and was subject to conditions. Eventually, the Munns sued English, seeking a declaratory judgment and specific performance. The trial court found for English. The Munns appealed. 